Welcome back. In this segment, I just want to, you know, I'd mentioned a number of my war stories as we went through this thing, but what I wanted to do is just kind of uh, review those because, you know, as, as I've mentioned in some of my other trainings, uh, I firmly believe facts tell, stories sell, and stories are really what gets the information that you need inside your brain in a place where even us guys will keep it there and store it and use it and retain. So, the uh, the water heater in that college girl's apartment. You know nobody wants to send their child to college only to find out that they died in their dorm because there was a bad water heater. Another one that I have you'll quite often see where home inspectors will write up holes in the flue, and that that may be a relatively small flow, but those holes still should be covered or protected. Uh, you can go with a material like a foil tape. It kind of looks like aluminum foil, only it's got, uh, it's on a roll, kind of like duct tape. And if there are holes or gaps in the flues, then th those can be covered um, inexpensively that way. Then you've got a sag. I have seen this happen in a number of especially older homes where you'll have the water heater here, the three inch diameter flue goes up and then it goes clear over to the side of the house maybe 20 30 feet away and in between here and the side of the house you've got this sag in the flue and what happens is you get dust that collects there you know maybe it's critters who knows what it is so you're starting with a three inch diameter flue which was okay back in the 70s and which is not okay anymore but you should have a rise all the way in the flue. Again, you're starting with a three inch diameter flue. And then as the dust begins to happen, now you start getting a one or two inch diameter flue. And uh, the carbon monoxide decides, hey, rather than travel through this very long and difficult path, I'm just going to go out in the house instead. And then you've got carbon monoxide in the house and people start dying. So watch out for the sags in the water heater flues. Backdrafting, I had mentioned that. Um, especially in the winter time, you know, when everything else is sealed up tight, the flu can be a pathway for uh, replacement air to get into the house. Now, one way to fix that is to actually have a combustion air source in your furnace and water heater room. And that's basically just an eight inch diameter pipe that goes from the furnace and water heater room to the exterior with nothing in between, maybe just a grate perhaps so that you're not getting mice and wasps and raccoons etc if you've got that that greatly reduces the risk of carbon monoxide and as i mentioned in the radon training it also reduces your radon risks because you've got this this uh, air replacement pathway so that the house doesn't have to call for replacement in some other way uh, fireplaces if you've got a gas fireplace uh, they're nice because they're politically correct, etc. You don't have to bring the wood in and you don't have to bring the spiders and wasps that are in the wood. But um, the nice thing about them is they don't have smoke. Bad thing about them is they don't have smoke. So if you're, if you're not getting the exhaust that you need with a gas fireplace, you don't know it. So be aware of uh, having flues be blocked. What you want to do, what I recommend is that you get a glass cover plate over that fireplace and so that the air behind the glass cover plate actually becomes exterior air. Then you're going to leave that flue blocked permanently open. You're not going to get down drafting because that's, there, that air is sealed. Like I say, that's exterior air in that gas environment. Space heaters, um, I've mentioned the one in the model home where you just had a space heater with no flu and he said it was emission free and it turned out it wasn't. Now I understand and I have actually checked at other homes where you have space heaters and they were okay. But before you just go trusting that a particular space heater or ventless fireplace is actually ventless and safe, uh, you're going to want to make sure you get a carbon monoxide meter and it's best to just leave one there full time so that if the ventless fireplace ever stops performing as it should, then the carbon monoxide or the meter lets you know that you have a problem before you start having children dying off inside the house. But nobody wants to be in any way responsible for a carbon monoxide death for anyone that we care about or anyone that we serve. So. Um, you as the realtor 
need to understand, like in this training, like all others, that this does not make you a home inspector. But you can, if you see the home inspector maybe perhaps missing something, uh, or you can nudge him and say, hey, what about that? Or just if you want to know if he, if you just want to have these silent tests as to whether this guy is somebody you want to keep using, uh, this is a way for you to do that. Join me in taking care of your customers. I appreciate working with you.